Okay. Doing episode. Let's see how this plays out. I mean, hopefully it'll go a little like the show. Loading, loading, loading. Yo, I can't wait to play it. Previously on Game of Thrones. You'd help the Second Sons. Guide them into Marine. I can't, Asher. This could be our only chance. Get them into the city. Help them liberate Marine. And I will see that you are rewarded. You think you got a reason for the wildling? No, I'm I, I'm a friend. Don't move. I'm glad they do it like this because I kind of forgot the decisions I made in the other episodes this is my sister Sylvie I have to get in there Sarah Lord Whitehill is up to something He's conspiring against my family, and someone in there is helping him. Andros is hiring swords, Hundreds of them. What? He's building an army for Lord Whitehill, big enough to march against Ironrath. Thalia, I may be leaving you here with a traitor. Find out who it is. I'm told you're a man who can't be broken. I've decided to come see for myself. A dude gets on my nerves. Ramsey Bolton. I was just telling your sister. Father's been looking to make a match for me. And Talia's been such good company. Think she likes me? Or maybe your mother? A flower plucked is still a flower. Just dies more quickly. We could be a family, Lord Forrester. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Your mother may need some convincing. She seems like the type to hold a grudge. It'd be a privilege to call you family. You hear that, Talia? Father will be so pleased. But let's put our happy day to the side. Tell him what he wants to hear to do the cycle. Walk with me. Oh, you won't need your sword. Not where we're going. I'm not going without my sword. I'm afraid you are. Here, I'll help you. <laughs> oh, really? There. <sighs> Doesn't that feel better? Oh. No, You're coming I don't trust to. you, dude. This is Lord's business, not a child's. I say she comes. I don't trust her with my men. Did 
Don't give me the opportunity to off this dude or it's happening. Quick. How fares your father, Lord Bolton? Better than yours. <laughs> Polite of you to ask. I loved playing in the woods when I was your age. Still do? So many places to hide. I've gotten very good at finding people. Roderick? It's all right, Tommy. That reminds me. Where's Griff? I expected to be greeted by him on my arrival. Bit of a disappointment to have to show myself in. And here I had such high hopes for Ludson. Now should I know? Griff and his men are not my concern. My concerns are your concerns. I assume you forgot that when you took them prisoner. Oh, I really hoped things might be different with you. I hoped we could be friends. After all, I was generous. I've allowed you to keep half your forest. Your livelihood. Yet you went behind my back and called in the Glenmores. Please, let me kill this dude. I'm not sure how you managed that. The Glenmores have sworn their loyalty to my father. I knew I couldn't trust the Whitetails, so I asked the Glenmores to keep the peace. You don't need the Glenmores. You have the protection of the Warden of the North. Well, I'm certainly glad we've sorted this out. Thank you for being so forthcoming. But there's still a price. Cannot trust this dude. Ah. Here we are. <laughs> Run, Rick! You disobeyed me. You disrespected me. And I knew it. Someone has to pay. You didn't think it would be you, did you? Your damaged goods. Someone else's leftovers. No one has to pay. Let's just keep talking. I'm bored of talking. <laughs> Damn. Stop! Look at what you've done. I hope it was worth it. Is it worth it, Arthur? Please, stop! <laughs> please, please! Talia, don't look away. No. It's very important you see what comes of disobedience. Make him stop! Don't look! Look at him, Talia. <laughs> Asshole. See what your brother's done. Please give me the chance to kill him. Sorry. But they'll never learn. Hate him in the show. Hate him more in the game. Did Roderick show mercy to Griff? This is his fault. That's a lot of blood. You're right. This is my fault. I told you, Talia. The poor lad's fainted. Let's give him a minute. Knew it wouldn't work. <laughs> You want to you want kill to stab me. Stab a cripple, don't you? Release him. Go on. Prove how strong you are. Do it for Ethan. No, Roderick. He's toying with you. Do it. Come on, Roderick. No, I'll trust you. Your little brother had bigger balls than you. I came here to kill you, but now I realize it might be far more entertaining to watch Lud tear you to pieces. I never want to come back to this fucking shit stain of a holdfast. I have better things to do than to play wet nurse to you and Lud. So you'll settle this on your own. Last house standing. Win. Otherwise, I'll kill you both and be done with it. 
House Forester will win this fight. You're very confident for a man with no army and half a face. And one more thing. <laughs> Can't leave a job half finished. Wow. Ready the horses? Not sure you'll have much luck finding other allies. Asshole. Oh god. I mean, this, somebody needs to do something to this dude. He's out of control. But I guess they're trying to keep somewhat of continuity with the show. So I should expect that I will not get to kill him. Just weird that I had to go through all of that mess. Dude is sick. He is like straight fucked up. Guts and everything. Only a monster would do such a thing. And Boltons will pay for this. Innocent blood shed on forester lands. What would father think? Keep asking myself what we've done to Please deserve just such give hate. me a chance to get back at this dude. Did we bring it on ourselves? Or is this house just cursed? Ramsey Snow is a bloody savage. He shames the entire North. Yet we're bound by law to obey him. By the gods, I miss the Starks. The Glenmore Guard are gone. Ordered home by Ramsey. So much for having allies. Ramsay says he's not taking sides anymore. He means to let the strongest house survive. I intend that to be us, Duncan. But can we even fight them? We don't have the numbers. We don't yet have Ryan back. And if Mir is right about an army from the south... Right now, everything depends on Asher. Once he and Malcolm bring us more fighting men, then Where is he? Where is my brother? My lady. My lady. Let me through! Elena. Roderick, tell me where he... Oh, no. No. Yo, babe, your, oh, your no. brother is done. No. It's my fault. I brought him into this. I asked him to help. He did this for me. You 
can't blame yourself, Lena. He was a grown man. He made his own choices. But he trusted me. He always has. I was there the day he learned to hold a bow. He was so nervous, the father called him Quiver. And now to die. So messed up. Like this. Tortured. Mutilated. Ramsay Snow did this. He's a madman. Ramsay was here because of you, Roderick. If we hadn't been your allies. Really? Elena. I'm Guess sorry. his marriage is off. Someplace warm. How do I do this, Roderick? How do I keep going? Where do I find the strength? You can't help the dead. So care for the living. For me, that's Ryan, Talia, Mira, and you. Roderick. You've been such a friend to me, Roderick. Right from the very beginning. I should try to get some sleep. I'm not sure I'll be able to. But I don't know what else to do. You're not alone, Elena. I'm here for you. Whatever you need. Yeah. Thank you, Roderick. Let the cripple get some bedroom action. Ah, there you are. I haven't seen you since the coronation feast. How many ships do you suppose it takes to move an army? Ships? Why in the world would you... Never mind. Mira, I'll be honest. I took an enormous risk, defying Marjorie to get you into that feast. And you thanked me by making a scene with Lord Andros, in front of everybody. Marjorie saw, of course, and she knew exactly how you got there. I'm sorry about that. I, I really did try to be discreet. But you couldn't, could you? Because you're in over your head. I know it. Wow. And Marjorie you don't believe me. Which is why it's not safe for me to be around you anymore. What? Mira, you're not the girl I knew at High Garden. She'd never be so reckless. And now that Garibald and I are discussing marriage. Yo, Trick, I'm exposing you then. I can't risk being associated with you. Not anymore. You know how much I need this marriage. I won't do anything to jeopardize it. If you abandon me, who'll be there when you need someone? I don't know. Garibald, I suppose. I'm sorry, Mira. I truly am. It's like that. Okay. Was it worth it, at least? Sacrificing so much for your family. Nothing's worth losing your friendship over, Sarah. I would have said the same thing once. Ooh. Dirty. I better go before she sees me. She'll be. Forrester. Can I help you? You need to come with me. Now. Why would I? Don't make this difficult. A 
I thought you'd be happier. I'm glad he's dead. Felt good plunging the knife in at least. But it doesn't feel like I expected. I thought I'd feel lighter or something. No matter what happens, I'll have your back always. And I yours, little brother. But we should never have come here. This city. It only holds pain for me, Yasha. I was hoping to bury it all with Dezor's corpse. I can't imagine what it must have been like. Please, I don't want to talk about it again. Asha, you're back. <laughs> Uncle. Let's collect our second sons and get out of here. If you did as you were told, Daenerys should deliver. Daenerys, huh? First names with the Queen now, are we? Your Grace, my nephew has returned from his mission. It seems you played your part in the taking of Marine, Asher Forrester. Did you run into any trouble? Reports from the battle are muddled. Perhaps you can clear them up. Well, my time is short. No battle is without difficulty, Your Grace. But we fulfilled your orders. All of them? I heard rumors of an incident in the city. Do you know anything about it? Your Grace, we encountered the slave master, Dizorzo Raza, on the way to the signal tower. I regret that he okay, lost I'll his life. Okay, I'm keeping 100 with you. Don't fucking... You admit it, then? The punishment for defying a queen is death. And yet, do you come to me for a reward? Why should I let this pass? Don't you dare. What do you have to say for yourself? Don't. Because Beska was Dizor's slave. For years. Damn you, Asha. She deserved her revenge as much as any slave in Marine. You have my sympathies. Keep your pity, Dragon Queen. Give us soldiers and we'll be gone. I apologize for her, Your Grace. It's all right, Malcolm. I do not hold it against her or you. You have proved yourselves in battle. And while you disobeyed my orders, you had good reason. Unfortunately, I cannot I knew spare it. my second sons. <laughs> I knew it. What? But your grace, the mission was a success. I need every soldier to hold Marine. What did I tell you? She was never going to help us. You promised me Croft and his second sons. Which is why I'm not going to let you leave here empty-handed. I cannot give you my cell swords, but I will give you the next best thing. Yeah. <laughs> this gold will be of use. Perhaps you can find the swords you need in Marine. Thank you, Your Grace. We promise to put it to good use. I'm sure you will. A new day is born in Marine. The slaves have thrown off their collars. There are fighters among those who used to be bound. On behalf of the Foresters and the Branfields, I thank you. See that you are ready when I return to Westeros. I have other plans for you, Malcolm. Plans for me, Your Grace. Plans that will help House Forrester, I hope. I would like you to stay and serve me. I have a task for you. Your Grace, I... I am humbled. But I owe my allegiance to my family. And they will be grateful for the Targaryen Alliance you've helped forward. I am honored you would ask me. Might I discuss it with my nephew first? Do so. But let me know your answer soon. Wow. You'd seriously consider staying in Essos? I'm not sure. This is all rather sudden. If she does come to Westeros, we'd want Daenerys Targaryen on our side. You've made a good start with her. I could strengthen that bond. It's worth thinking about, you have to admit. 
You're right, Uncle. The Mother of Dragons would make a powerful ally. If she succeeds in taking the Iron Throne, she'll be the only ally we need. But whatever comes of this, we still need men who will fight for us now. The Queen thought we might find them here, among the newly freed. Don't even think about it. You just couldn't keep your fucking mouth shut, could you? Had to tell her everything. You sold me out for a chest of gold. We're out of options. I need your help, Beska. I need this. I need that. You're just a spoilt lordling under it all, aren't you? I'll make it up to you, all of it. I swear it. If you think we can find a force in Marine, I need to hear it. <sighs> the little queen is right. Marine holds plenty of killers. And I know the worst. So what are we waiting for? Let's go get them. I don't know, Asher. They're not like us. To them, killing is a sport. It's fun. Let them have fun with the White Hills, then. As long as they kill them, I don't care. Don't say I didn't warn you. I must talk further with the Queen. Don't get yourselves killed. So, where exactly are we going? Well, these fighters used to be slaves. If I had to guess, I'd say they'll be trying to live like masters. You're freezing. Yeah, don't worry about it. Someone has to keep watch. <sighs> oh. It's getting worse, isn't it? But we're only about a few days out from the Atla River. We cross the bridge the first men built. And from there, we can try to find the North Grove. Uh, right, Sylvie? We're not going north. We're going south. To join Mance. And the rest of the Free Folk. But look... That was always the plan, Cotter. I have to go to the North Grove. My family's depending on it. <laughs> Your family needs you to wander around in the snow until you get eaten by a dire wolf. Please, Sylvie. He knows what he's doing. Does he now? Tell me then. How did my brother get that gash in his arm? You dressed his wound up well enough. But why did he get hurt in the first place? What does that have to do with the... Hush, Cotter! I'm asking Fishface here. <laughs> Sylvie! Don't Sylvie me. I want to hear it from him. Some wildlings. Uh, free folk. Uh, mistook Cotter for a crow. I can't imagine why. We tried to reason with them and, well, well, things got out of hand. Out of hand? From the look of him, he was nearly killed? Point is, you don't belong out here. Sylvie, I've known Gadid a while now. He may not be one of us, but I trust him. I've been waiting months for you, Cotter. And when you finally come home, it's with some crow who can barely build a fire. No. We don't need to die for him. Me neither. Fucking North Grove isn't even real. And if it is, it's probably full of wolves and more wildies. Fens probably. Stop being a punk. <laughs> you didn't lose your nerve already, did you? Finn, will you Just piss off. Some leader you turned out to be. You should listen to him. The further north you go, the more likely you'll never come back. It's just not worth it. Once Cotter's fit to travel, we head south. With or without you, Garrod. Sylvie. You need to rest. 
and we'll be wanting something to eat. I won't go far. Oh, don't be angry, Garrett. This isn't what it looks like. I can explain. First I find out you're a wildling. Now you've got a sister. What else are you hiding? Nothing. I swear. I thought she could help. Sylvie knows these woods better than I do. If anyone can find the North Grove, it's her. And besides, I couldn't just leave her. I won't do that. Not again. Then it's convince okay, her to go with us. She's your sister. Well, maybe she's right. Maybe you don't belong up here. You don't mean that. So that's it. I can't head north without a guide. I go where she goes. I'm sorry, Garrett. What are you doing over here? There's a perfectly good fire. I'm not going anywhere near those fucking wildlings. Oh, come on. Just give them a chance. I did. And look where it got us. I'm sorry for getting you into this mess. Really. Not your fault. I wanted to come. Just didn't know this is how it'd turn out. Come on, Finn. You'll freeze your ass off if you stay here. Suppose you're right. May as well get warm before I die. Alright, where did Chick go? Check her turn up. I wonder if she's ever seen an ice spider. Whew. Hope not. You and your sister, you, uh, you don't look much alike. The white hair and... I know what you're getting at, so you may as well just say it. I, I just wondered. She was born like that. My mother used to call her Little Moon. The rest of our village thought she was a bad omen. The better of them stayed away from her. The worse? Let's just say I'm glad to be rid of them. Why were they afraid of your sister? Same yeah, I want to know too. Southerners call us wildlings. Same reason you put up that wall to keep us out. People are assholes. Alright, but where's the fucking chick? Never met a crow before. Sorry I almost killed you. 
Might have done you a favor, though. Plenty of things want to kill a crow up north. Giants, thens, shadow cats and ice spiders. And the White Walkers, of course. A spear sounds nice after all that, doesn't it? I'm not a crow anymore. I left that life behind me. Once a crow, always a crow. That's what they say, anyway. Don't frighten our dinner away. Shit. Mind if I give it a shot? Go ahead. You know how to use that. You're not going to shoot me in the leg, are you? I'll make it do all right. Just be sure to keep it aimed that way. Fuck. <laughs> Is that what <laughs> making do means? Not much, but it'll last us. You're not half bad with a bow. Could come in handy. You ever lost anyone, Garrett? Someone you really cared about? Someone you thought you couldn't live without seeing ever again? Do you know what that's like? I lost my family. First my mother, then my sister and father. So you know how it feels. Cotter and I, we lost everything too. And we nearly lost each other. I didn't think he'd make it back this time. And I won't risk losing him again. Not even for the North Grove. You know something about it, don't you? Only what I've heard. But don't get your hopes up. It's not worth it. Please, Sylvie. I need to know. A few years back, one of the Ice River clans set out to find it. They'd heard stories. That the cold couldn't touch it. That it's safe, even in the dark of winter. So they'd set out, all full of hope, and none of them ever returned. Maybe they stayed there. Maybe they liked it. <laughs> Free folk never stay anywhere. You'd know that if you were. Garrett! The hell? White Walkers. This looks like the place. <laughs> this is definitely the place. So, who are we dealing with exactly? Pit fighters. Two go in, one comes out. Day after day. No rules, but kill. Anyone who can survive that is capable of anything. They're crazed savages. But one pit fighter is worth any ten cell swords. If you can convince them to fight for you. And that's not going to be easy. Don't expect to charm them or reason with them. If we're very lucky, we'll walk out with our heads. I've got enough gold to buy them all. Mm, I'd be careful flaunting it.
Must make you feel pretty good, <laughs> seeing the Masters overthrown. They're not gone. They're just on their knees. And when they get back to their feet, they'll be more dangerous than ever. You did what? What the fuck? Trust me, you don't want to get involved, Russia. Check the heads out. Your friends have been busy. Let's hope our heads don't end up here. Come on. Oh, uh, one last thing. They're not fond of strangers. Or anyone who shows weakness. Or fear. Or really any highborn pricks of lily white arses like you, little brother. What are you leading me into, Beska? No, well, I warned you. But don't worry, little brother. I'll protect you. Well, if it isn't Beska, the fucking basilisk. We just want to talk to Amaya. You can. But not this one hiding behind your skirt. You've got to the count of three to turn around and walk away. One, two. <laughs> <laughs> Figure that might work. Is that a pit? Yeah, some masters couldn't get enough of the fighting, so they built their own private pits where things could get really nasty. somebody in there that's a Maya keep your cock in your pants little brother she's likely to chop it off well hello there not many people get past the beast you must need something very badly so, out with it. Before I decide not to let you leave. My name is Asher Forrester. I've traveled all the way from Westeros. I'd suggest you go back there. It's not safe here for outsiders. Amaya, please. Please what? I had a friend once, the Basilisk, but she died a long time ago. I earned my freedom. You walked out on me. On all of us. Fighting side by side, we were goddesses of the pits. You have a problem with her? Deal with me. So, what is it that you want? Why shouldn't we rip you to pieces and feed you to the beast? Mm. <laughs> Try. My patience wears thin. Sail with me to Westeros and do to my enemies what you do best. Slay them all and lay waste to their lands. 
You think we sell swords? We don't fight other people's wars. We are pit fighters! Artists who paint in blood! That was yesterday. The fighting pits have been closed. You're all free now! Free to do what you want! Don't you see that? Yes, we are free. Why would we follow another? We don't have masters anymore! Why would we follow anyone ever again? The life you've led here is over. I've met the Mother of Dragons. She won't open the pits again. If you want to fight, we offer gold and glory. Amaya, trust me. He's got enough gold for all of you. You want to lead pit fighters? You have to earn their respect first. We don't know who you are until we see you bleed. Really? You're gonna have to show them you can fight. All right. Who? Who's the best you've got? His name is Bloodsong. He's vicious, fearless, and fast. Oh, I've never seen him before. Take a good look, then. He's the man who's going to kill your boy. What's the matter, Westerosi? Choosing your last words carefully? Well, suppose I better get this over with. So what are you supposed to be? With your little axe and your pretty blonde beard? I'd sooner bend you over to fuck than fight you. Thanks for noticing the beard. <laughs> well, come on! Let's see how you die! If I die in there... Yeah? You have a dying wish? This ought to be good. Will you return to Westeros and kill as many White Hills as you can? No. I'll spend all your gold on the finest of halls. Hey! I need those! We'll fight with the weapons we give you. You all see this cockless Westerose? He's come to order us to battle, like our masters did. I kill no man because another orders me to. I kill a man because it pleases me! Let me show you how we dance in Marine. That's lovely. You know why I kill a man? So he's dead and I'm alive. Let's get this over with. Choose a weapon and try not to die. Only one of you leaves the pit alive. May the best fighter win. The best would be me! Here, use this. Cockroach crawling in the dirt. We all know there's only one way to deal with insects. <laughs> Had to see what happened. Are you ready, Westerosi? 
This is gonna hurt! Yours will be a beautiful death! Isn't that something you'd like to say? Dude, stop talking. Hear that, boy? We cannot let the crowd go wanting. I think I can, actually. For that, you die slow. Last chance, Westerosi. Would it help if I stood still? Maybe. Come on, pretty boy. At least. It was okay, the fight just, just dragged out. Your old champion is gone. As are your old masters. You can stay here in Marine with nothing, or you can come with me. I chose you for a reason. You're true warriors. Warriors I admire and respect. You deserve better than this. You deserve more than to die for someone else's entertainment. Fighting under someone else's rules. I won't hold you back. Fight with me, and there are no rules. If you've got the balls to follow me, we will set sail at dawn. And to those too craven to join me, to hell with you!
to be killed. Down. Come on! <laughs> Get out! Your Grace. You're familiar with my brother's chambers, aren't you? Certainly you've been here before. You looked rather confused when you came in, as if you didn't know where you were. I don't know what you mean, Your Grace. I'm told you know these chambers as well as anyone. You're quite the curiosity, aren't you? You profess to be loyal to the Crown, Yet, you're not very loyal to Lady Marjorie. Have I displeased you, Your Grace? I've heard things. I understand you've been quite busy. Tell me, do you consider yourself an honest, loyal handmaiden? One can never tell with you northern girls. Assuming an honest person exists in King's Landing. It hasn't been easy, Your Grace. But I've done what I've needed to do. Haven't we all? I've done my best to keep an open mind about people like you, yet... Really? Lucan tells me you invited yourself to Tommen's coronation party. How exactly did that happen? It can't have been easy. I meant no harm, Your Grace. I had a personal matter to attend to. A personal matter? I'm told you used another girl to talk your way in. You're not above using people to get what you want. Good. Why would you be so reckless as to risk your neck for what? It all seems rather careless, considering the consequences. I had to speak with Lord Andros, Your Grace. It was urgent. Lord Andros? I don't imagine he'd appreciate being approached by a person of your stature. You've been such a busy little handmaiden. 
I assume Lady Marjorie knew nothing of this. No, Your Grace. This wasn't the first time you've hidden the truth from her. You've no qualms about lying to her, have you? Tell me the truth. Your secret is safe with me. Only when I must, Your Grace. I think we both know it's more often than that. Perhaps I mistook your northern stubbornness for ignorance, but now I see there's more to you. You're a cunning girl, and perhaps you can help me. Your Grace? You're quite friendly with my brother Tyrion. I need you to speak with him before the trial begins. I want to know who he intends to call as a witness on his behalf. Consider it a favor to the Crown, for which we will all be grateful. I would be happy to, Your Grace. It won't be easy. Tyrion is devious. You'll have to hide your intentions, otherwise he'll tell you nothing. You may prove to be a useful little bird to me, assuming you do as you're told. In return, I'll take care of your problem with Lord Andros. Thank you, Your Grace. I never liked the man anyway, and I doubt anyone will miss him. Damn. Hate her so much on the show, kinda like her in the game. You think we hired this boat for nothing? No, I don't know. That was a rousing speech you gave, little brother. But who knows how much they heard. Ever since you left me to that dragon, I've given a lot of thought to staying here. Leaving you to your Westeros and your foresters. You have? <sighs> I was angry. But you're my family. No matter what. I'd follow you anywhere, little brother. Just try not to get us killed. Think we'd let you leave without us, Westerosi? They say your homeland is fat and prosperous. An orchard ripe for plucking. We'll take what we want and kill anyone who stands in our way. Take anything not nailed down. Just not from my house. <laughs> <laughs> that depends on how nice your house is. I'll show them their beds. Rasko wasn't exaggerating. Malcolm, you're here! And you found your soldiers. Ironrath will be glad of your return. You came through for them. Just as I knew you would. What about you, Uncle? Will you stay with the Queen? If I can, I'd like to help her reclaim the Iron Throne. Imagine what an ally she'd be to House Forrester if she succeeds. Living here has made a better man of you, nephew. Perhaps the same will be true for me. There's nothing I can say to make you change your mind. I've made my decision. You are your father's son, Asher. For all your differences, he would be proud. I'll send a raven ahead to Ironrath to let Roderick know you sail for Westeros with the uh, Selsos. My thoughts will be with you in the fight to come. Asher. Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Cast it off! Take this. It'll help loosen his tongue. But be careful. He's a tricky little bastard. If he figures out who sent you, he'll tell you nothing. I'll be listening to every word you say. Ah, oh, I ask for brawn, they send me a handmaiden. Well, you're here. You might as well come in. Let me guess. Your family is in grave danger, and you've come seeking my help? Not that I'd be of much use to you. As you can see, 
I'm at a bit of a disadvantage. I brought you a gift. Wine. You know the way to my heart. And you didn't even have to hide it. Hmm. Doesn't smell poisoned. Poisoned? Dude, this is straight out. would love nothing more than to save herself the trouble of a trial. You don't expect me to drink alone, do you? They never let anyone in to see me. And I've grown tired of talking to myself. I suppose I'll have just a little. Ah, true girl of the North. Hmm. Some things are worth dying for. So, why are you here? It's rather unusual for a handmaiden to visit the Black Cells. Willingly. I've been worried about you, Lord Tyrion. Oh, have you? You may be the only person in all of King's Landing who doesn't want to see my head on a spike. You and Podrick. I have to admit, I've always admired your honesty. But I suspect there's more to you than one might imagine. This is all a ruse, isn't it? Sorry? You're coming here. We both know you have an ulterior motive. You've come to set me free. It's the perfect plan. No one would suspect it of you. <laughs> I'm afraid not, unfortunately. Unfortunate for us both. So, tell me. Cersei sent you, didn't she? I know I'm not wrong. The truth, Mira. She left me no choice. She never does. At least you had the courage to tell me the truth. I told you not to run your mouth. Stupid girl. You're acting a fool. Let me handle this. We're not done talking. You heard the girl. Go. Imp. What did my sister expect you would learn? Who will testify on your behalf? She's using you. And will continue to do so. Until you no longer prove useful. It's not as if I could refuse her. Cersei is not someone to be trifled with. And what would Lady Marjorie make of your new friendship with my sister? I doubt she'd be pleased. Assuming she doesn't dismiss you immediately. To be honest, I don't care what Lady Marjorie thinks of me. Hmm. I thought you were smarter than that. Without her protection, you're in a very precarious position. <clears throat> what should I tell Cersei? She knows the answer better than anyone. No one will testify for me. She's already seen to that. That is the truth of it. Not that it will help you. She'll never believe that. Then come up with something better. Tell her I intend to call Sansa, uh, Varys, Jamie. Give her a list of names and be done with it. Enough of this nonsense. You're wasting my time. Out, now! I wish you well, Lady Mira. Be careful who you trust. There's nobody. Must you leave? Sorry. Didn't mean to wake you. You didn't sleep, did you? Neither did you. Oh, crippled man got him some, I haven't huh? slept much at all these last few weeks. I... I hope you don't have any regrets. About this. About us. Do you have any? No. Not about this.
What will we do now? Now that we are... What we are? We'll be married. And no one will be able to keep us apart. Not Griff. Not his father. Not Ramsay Snow. I was hoping you'd say that. Roderick? Oh! oh I'm sorry! I thought you were alone. Good morning, Talia. Hello, Elena. Oh, I, I didn't realise you two were... I mean, I didn't realise she was... It's all right, Talia. Come in. I really am sorry. <laughs> it's just... This is urgent, Roderick. And... It's, it's all right. I can go. You two need to speak. I'll see you soon. She'll probably end up dying. I'm listening. Last night, I couldn't... I was having nightmares. So I... Go on, Talia. I went back there. To the grove. And someone was there. What do you mean? Look. This is a report. How many fighting men we have? Where Griff and the White Hill garrison are being held? It even talks about Elena. I know. It's everything. I couldn't believe it. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes... You said you saw someone. Who? Someone we trusted. Talia, I need to know who it was. He's like family, Roderick. But it doesn't matter. He's a traitor. He endangered our house. You have to deal with him like you would any other man. I'm sure he had his reasons. But no reason is good enough. It's your duty to tell me. And mine to pass judgment. Just promise me you'll kill him, Roderick. Anyone who would betray us like this deserves to die. I'm asking you, as your sister, make him pay. I give you my word, Talia. The traitor will get what he deserves. Now, tell me. Come with me. He's in the Great Hall. It's Game of Thrones. Gotta off him. One of two people, anyway. Hey! Oh, my lord. You scared the bloody daylights out of Figure. What's that? You tell me. You don't scare me, Roderick. I've known you since you were a boy. Back when you still had a spine. Why, Roiland? Why did you do it? Your father was the greatest lord I've ever known. But you! You've brought this house to ruin! You pushed me to this, Roderick. You brought it upon yourself. Don't you dare start making excuses. Excuses? Are you that naive? Look at you, Roderick. You're weak. You're weak. Just like Ethan was. Making Duncan his sentinel. Ethan was a Dude, boy. I'm killing Ethan you. was a fool. And you've been You're running your mouth a little bit too much. Since the day killing you crawled off that corpse cart. Letting Griff force you to the ground. Without a shred of dignity. Going to High Point without any soldiers. Despite my every warning. 
Hell, you even managed to get Arthur killed! Enough, Roiland! You've had every opportunity to save this family, but you've squandered them all. Your father would be ashamed. Hate me for it, but it's the bloody truth. You betrayed us all, Roiland! My father included! I've held true to what I believed, which is more than I can say for you. The only thing that matters is that you swore an oath to all I swore to your father. I'd swear to Asher if he were here. But you're a cripple who can barely hold a sword. Asher knows how to act. All you do is limp between defeats. Shut your fucking mouth. Finally showing some spine. Roderick, it's Griff, he's gone. Somebody set him free. Was this your doing? They were going to ambush you at the trade. I just saved your life. But Ryan... Ryan... How could you? This was his doing! Just sentence me and be done with it. Yo, I'm killing you. Roderick, you promised. Kill me. And Asher dies too. <gasps> Please, Roderick! Stop! You wouldn't even know he was on the way back. What Roiland said. We have to warn Asher. We can't, not if he's at sea. The Lord. What do we do? Prepare the horses. We're going to war. Yeah. Almost there. Let's get it. Let's have a look. Come on, break it up. Save your love making for below deck. They listen to you. Barely. But what happens if your lord brother decides he's the one in charge once we're at Iron Wrath? Do you expect them to follow his orders? Or will it be you commanding them? They don't know him. A lord sounds an awful lot like a master. Doesn't matter if Roderick's lord of our house. These are my soldiers to lead. Huh? You may want to start by telling them your brother's not to be harmed. He hasn't had a chance to win them over like you have. Hmm. Point taken. Hmm. That's odd. Port's quiet. No guards. Hardly any ships. Maybe they're all off fighting one of your king's wars. Could be. No. Or could be we'll have a fight on our hands. I'll let the others know. Right. Right. It's gonna be a fight. Oh, this couldn't be easy, could it? So, this is Westeros. Ugly and small. Fucking freezing, too. I said you'd be paid. I never said you'd be warm. Asher, thank the gods you've made it back. You've looked better. We've no time for small talk, brother. 
Hope you're ready for a fight. Lord's got something planned. I don't know what yet, but it won't be good. Been stuck on a boat for weeks. Could use a good fight. What the fuck? I shall know. It's been a while since I killed any white hills. Damn, bad boy. Down. Asha, you have to get out of there. Looks like it's up to us. Just Asha. like Game of Thrones mess. Raise the gate. They've got us outnumbered. Oh shit. <laughs> we have to get out. Of here. Come on, come on, come on. What's the point? The gate will fall without one of us holding it. One of us has to stay. Save your life and our house. Iron from ice, brother. Iron from ice. I'll hold them off. But my lord, you can't. Asher is your new lord. Yes, my lord. Rodrick, go. Pretty good. I just gotta wait for the next episode.